Hey, what is up guys? I just wanted to make a quick little video just kind of showing the current state of my car post winter. It doesn't look too bad. I finally had a chance today to kind of just hand wash it and kind of look at some of the little imperfections that have kind of popped up over the last few months here. So the first one is right here on the bumper. Uh, this is where the clear coat has kind of bubbled up a little bit. And this happened when I was power washing the car at the car wash. Um, unfortunately, it looked like there was a little spot on the front bumper. I kept getting closer and closer with the power washer, which is, I know is probably really bad. And anyway, that's what happened. So lesson learned, probably don't use the power washer on the front bumper. I'll probably fix this uh, when it gets a little bit warmer out. But anyway, for now, I just have to deal with that. Okay, so coming around to the wheels here, the wheels kind of have this brake dust really caked in. Um, let me try to adjust this and so you can see it a little bit better here. Uh, I tried scrubbing on this, but it really doesn't seem to want to come off. So guys, if you can recommend a wheel cleaner specifically that will get this brake dust off, uh, I'd really appreciate that. All right, for my window trim, the window trim on here was chrome. I plastic dipped over it and made it black. Uh, that was two years ago and now as a result of the really cold weather last winter when it was like negative 10 degrees, some of the plastic dip here is kind of just peeling up. That's just from super cold temperatures. The stuff does contract a little bit and uh, I guess that's what happens. Now this is one of the very first things that I ever plastic dip, so I probably could have put this stuff on a little bit thicker, but um, for two years it doesn't look too bad. I'm definitely going to take all of this off pretty soon. I'm not totally sure yet if I'm going to re dip it or if I'll do vinyl. Plastic dip is definitely a lot cheaper than vinyl and uh, it's easier to work with, but it, I think that the vinyl's just more of a long-term solution. All right, another thing about the plastic dip is that it seems to be very sensitive to um, kind of tree sap, bug guts, things like that and also wax. So this white that you see right here is actually wax that the plastic dip kind of soaked up and then it just dried. And this stuff, once it gets like that, it's like impossible to remove. So that's another reason that I'm kind of thinking vinyl for the next time that I cover this up. And then the front grill here actually has that same issue where it's got that white buildup. Uh, when I have a little bit more money, I'm definitely gonna replace this whole grill with uh, a gloss black plastic and I'll just get rid of this one completely. This is just like the stock grill that I blasted it black so you can kind of see how that looks after two years. All right and then really the only other issue is this salt that is kind of in the carpet here. Now this is actually pretty easy to clean and I'm going to do a full video like how to remove salt from carpet. The car did come with these really nice BMW brand floor mats, they're just rubber all weather mats, but unfortunately it doesn't have any side protection, so or especially around the pedals, uh, the salt does kind of get absorbed into the carpet. But anyway, I'll show you guys how to take the salt out, it's actually really easy and it looks a lot worse than it really is, so uh, just definitely subscribe if you want to see how to remove salt from your carpet. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, definitely subscribe if you want to see more videos of the car, and I'll see you guys in the next one.